Yes, hi again. Uh, in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to create a database instance. So inside my database uh, object explorer, I right click on the database folder. I click or I select this selection new database. After that, the screen will load to let me choose what's the name of this database, what's the name of this instance. I'm going to provide this name for, for example, it's going to be training DB. I leave all other fields uh, as default values here. So I have the logical name which is training DB and I have the file type this is raw data which is the data file this one is the log file in next lessons we're going to learn what's the importance of each or uh, and every file in a database uh, object instance and here the initialize the initial size rather is 5 meg and for the log file it's 1 meg and this is the auto growth and the max size and it's by 1 meg and this is by 10% and as I said we leave all these values as default values and as provided by the management studio I hit after this or I click on the OK button and you see here that this instance is being created and there we go we have the training database and all the objects linked to this database are now created we have the database diagram all the tables linked to this uh, DB training DB are here the views synonyms programmability and service broker storage and security and uh, the main objects we need in this training DB are the tables and for now we have just system tables and file tables we have views we, we, we can need or we can use this also uh, object which is views and for now we have just system views synonyms could be used also programmability in here we have stored procedures functions mainly we use this too so stored procedures and functions triggers not it's not in every database we use triggers but in advanced databases and in production databases we use these triggers and uh, sometimes types rules and sequences sequences are actually introduced this uh, uh, notion is introduced in sql server 2012 so this is mainly the objects linked to the training db and this is pretty much pretty much uh, it about this lesson